Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this uh, lovely Wednesday. Less than uh, what? Two days, uh, I guess it's the third day for uh, the end of summer. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Grant. Good to see you. All right, Lawrence, good to see you. Gene, Chuck, Nancy, all Cyber Traders. All right, so anyway, we've got a little bit of a runner this morning. Um, shockingly, we haven't seen a lot of those lately, but the, uh, the LCI has been doing pretty well. And um, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about that. The, 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 I tell you the truth, the list is really small. The list is really small. But I could just say that this stock right here alone really kind of more or less helped us out this morning. I, I told you this is going to happen two weeks ago. Okay. And uh, let me just uh, fix something here and share it. I know you can't see the screen right here. Let me just fix something over here. Do, 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 do. There we go. So re regarding about... Uh, no, preparing for this is perfectly normal, and it's good because, listen, there are some times that you need to take off, you know, and you could see in the cyber group room, a lot of people are on vacation, a lot of people taking off. It's perfectly normal, and you should, but you know what? If you got nothing to do, I always tell everybody, be, the best trade is not to trade, and the only way not knowing when not to trade is to be in trading conditions like this. We did phase three uh, the, pa uh, the past two days, and actually we're doing really – Actually, we're making a lot of money in in, in, in our class uh, in phase three. We'll talk about that it's regarding the metals. But before we do that, uh, just really quick regarding about what's going on for this week. Uh, you know that we're going to continue with phase three with lesson, uh, with lesson three and four. And then uh, we have the uh, open house that we always invite traders to come in. That's going to be tomorrow. So go out there and, you know, it's always nice to see beginner traders, new people that are out there and you being a student, you know, you know where you start. It's always nice to kind of, you know, to see how people don't understand trading and also makes you appreciate it. And also we always can use your support to kind of always recruit new traders, always looking for that. But most importantly, guys, remember the, the, uh, the, the, the phase four class is coming up. The trading summit is coming up. So that is on September 10th to the 12th. So remember, we have the soiree on, uh, on Tuesday. We got two live trading days that are going to be on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Hopefully, I think all of you booked your hotels and everything like that. It is our biggest event of the year at CyberTree University. And like I said, if you're still interested, you know, let us know. Um, just make sure you you got everything taken care of. All right. Now, regarding about uh, – and, and if you can't make it, by the way, it is webcast. So you can always watch, it, uh, watch the webcast. Now, regarding about uh, what happened yesterday, the realistically, the only stock that I'm – I would probably brag about and say that we did pretty well is the SVM. You know, let me just bring that up there. Now, the SVM has been uh, – the metals have just been going unbelievable. Look, you got a 17,000 share buyer sitting already out there at at, uh, at 450.53. Now, I bought several thousand shares of it. I, I was so – nervous to buying yesterday because I chased it because this stock in July was literally two dollars and fifty cents and I'm like do I pay four twenty you know I, I think I paid four twenty five I think I paid after I was done we were watching in class it was just so damn slow and I'm like do I buy it here so what the hell let me take a shot so I I, I think I put it in a cyber group room I think a bunch of you did jump into it uh I don't like to be in positions that are up this big, but we've seen what's been going on with the market overall, and it's not just this one, the, S, uh, the SVM. The, another one, it's a little bit more expensive, is Posh, uh, the PAAS. That, the, all of them, look, $11 stock up to $18. The, what I liked about the SVM, just to let you know, let me just bring up the long-term chart on this right here. Hold on. Let me fix the time frame on this so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, monthly. Okay. So this stock, you could see back in the day um, where it was a big, big buy right around two, the stock, they go to 16. So the stock had a big run up, came right back down to where it started. It looks like it's breaking these resistance levels right around here, which I'm going to be focused on, If it does, which is the support levels right here. If it does break the stock, I mean, it, it could run to like $6.50, $7, $8. But this stock was not more of a day trade. This stock was more geared as a swing trade. Remember when we talked about yesterday, because a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey, Fausto, when's it ready? when are you ready to do some swing trading? You know, and I said, listen, you know, with all this chaos going on this month, I mean, the market's down 800. It's 
it's up 300, it's down 200, it's up 500. I mean, it's all over the place. So, it's, you know, with all these tariff wars and these tweets and everything, it's great for day trading, you know, but you could trade ETFs. I think we, we were more more of a fan of trading ETFs because they more trade the market. Um, but overall, if you're getting a good deal on the stock, then, you know, then, um, you know, I said, hey, go for it. And the, just all the metals. I mean, great. You must be doing great. You must love it. I mean, a lot of stock, gold stocks are doing phenomenal out there. Nugget, all of them. But um, see, I can't really uh, – this right here, that high right there, which is pretty much almost there, is what I'm a little concerned about. But look at the level three, a 17,000 share buyer out there. I didn't see that all day yesterday. That's a pretty substantial buyer. So what do you – Traders, what do we learn? What do we learn to hear? Just what we talked about in 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 class. How do stocks go up and go down, everybody? How does everything? How do stocks go up and go down? Everyone should chat this in. That's it. Just write S and D, S and D, S and D, S and D. But supply and demand, buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers. Just keep it super simple. Buyers and sellers, all right? All that other window dressing, you know, the indicators, the hunt seekers, the scanners, the, you know, the candlesticks. The, it's just, it's, over, it's, it's overload. Keep things very simple. So metals, listen, there's a lot of other ones out there. Uh, you can look at like Nugget. I mean, look at that, 15 to 43. I mean, they, 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 you know, they, they're all, and then there's, you could also short the other ones. The other ones also took big hits too, but all the metals are doing great. You know, gold, uh, gold's doing really well. Uh, Bookmat says on v, uh, VM, let me, I mean, on level four, it's, <laughs> the guy okay, level four. All right, look, right there. Look at all the buyers out here, and you got a big ball right there. It means that there's a big buying going on. So, yeah, there, there's a, there's a 17,000 share right there, and there's a little bit more. So I don't see anything. Look, there's, there's no sellers out there. There's no sellers out there. So is it ever too late to buy a stock that's going up? Is it ever too late? Junior gold miners are doing well too, Grant. There you go. Listen, that, that's the beauty about being here in the cyber group room. We all get to share our ideas. That's the whole idea. It's not about us teaching you how to make money. It's about teaching you how to stop losing it. You guys have to work together, and that's what it's all about. Not until it reverses, Wayne. That's right. All right, so let's talk about some other stocks because I want to get ready because um, I got phase three, and I got the students that are in there, and I want to be able to uh, get ready in there. So we got Posh also. That's moving pretty nicely. That That is another – uh, another metal stock right there. It looks like it's breaking some of the last year's resistance levels. So that one looks pretty good. DPW. I don't know what happened to this stock, but it had a huge rally this morning. And <laughs> is that even possible? Okay. So this stock had reverse stock split after reverse stock split after reverse stock split. Okay. So this stock was, uh, you know, wasn't technically a $500 stock. It just had so many reverse stock splits and it kept going to 40, 4,500. It didn't tank. So guys, you traded this stock, you know, very well, go back to your journals, which is what we, which I was highly stressing in phase three. And this is what's important about your journals that we gave you in class. So you can go back and say, that's right. We did trade that stock. How did I do on it? What did I write back then? Let me go see so I know what happened back then. So how do I trade it? Was there a lot of shakes? Was it an easy stock to trade? Was there a lot of iceberg orders out there? Everything that makes you a better trader is because I always tell you this, you're going to go back and you're going to be trading these stocks again in the future. But even though the stock is down right now from the highs from 560 to 430, knowing that we traded it before, you got to go back to your journals and check it out. Uh, uh, ben says the DPW holding uh, estimates debt totaled approximately $2 million. All right. So whatever the hell that means. You know, is it good? Is it bad? It's all about what the street has to react to it, and that's how we do it. But, you know, like I said, uh, you could get, you could drive yourself crazy trying to figure that one out. But, you know, that's the news, and, you know, that's what drove it up, and that's the other thing. Like, uh, you know, like people ask me, why all the metals going up? Why? I mean, listen, I'm not an analyst, and I never pretend to be. 
All right. I could I could I could read news. I get an idea, but I'm never going to pretend to say, oh, that's great news. That's not it's not great news. It's great for them. And I just follow their lead. And then the last one I want to finish off is with the uh, the LCI. So we had a nice little push in the morning at eight o'clock this morning. We had the stock in the watch list, uh, the morning watch list. So some of you guys did pretty well on that one. Um, the big goal is this. Take the money. All right. I always tell you that. Take the money and run. Here is not about how much money more can I make. It's about did I make my day's pay? Because a lot of you guys could have called the quits and could have finished your day's pay when it when it tested that resistance levels right around eight eight fifty. Should have got out probably about there. And also you can see all the orders out there just plumbing away. Um, let me see. Let me go back here. You can see this like a 3,000 share order, 2,400. Not a lot of buyers. So next biggest buyer is down to 815, down in level three. So that's pretty much where you're at. I mean, I, I'm looking over here on level four. Yeah, there was there was 8,000 to 8,000 sellers right around the, you know, right around the. Uh, let me bring it over here. Yeah, right around the 864, 865. So it kind of makes sense. You can see that they've been sitting there all day. So. I don't know what more, how much more you need to kind of like have someone spell the spill the beans, but they've been out there that whole time. Remember, follow the money, guys. All right, so let's get ready for class for some of you that are my gold and platinum and diamond students. Um, so let's get ready for that. I'll see you in the room. I know the room's open right now. In the meantime, if you want to know more about being a student, uh, like I said, talk to Education Advisor and all, all you trial members here. Uh, hopefully, you've been enjoying your week. This is, you know, listen, this is what trading's about. Um, but let me tell you, this week, after this weekend, let me tell you, fasten your seatbelts because it's where things going to get very exciting. I know we got a couple of earnings coming out, so we'll keep an eye on those and some company uh, companies after hours. Good luck, everybody. See you in class.